Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4, and today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for Episode 11, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so last episode was Episode 10, and everyone was freaking out, everyone was crying, sending in videos of themselves crying over the ending because it was extremely sad and uh, if you have any of those videos send them over like any reactions uh, it was really cool seeing everyone sort of coming together in the community you know in one whole you know big idea that the Danvers sisters are so crucial and this moment was just so heart-wrenching and it really got everyone so I really loved that last episode and this episode is going to be dealing with the aftermath of that and so so far as far as what we know this episode is going to be dealing a lot with Alex and you know the ramifications of what happened at the end of that episode and we know in this episode uh, according to the photos that were released a while ago that don't really capture that much of Alex but the trailer is all about Alex but essentially what's going to be happening on the other part of the story is Kara and Nia actually go to Nia's hometown and you know this is mainly a Nia episode that's what it's actually getting out in the synopsis but the trailer suggests it's heavily Alex as well so I think it's going to be a pretty big sort of 50-50 split although I think it's going to favor Nia a bit more in this episode because they set that up as well but anyway let's break this trailer down and go through it shot by shot so the first shot is black and white so they've just you know changed the colors the black and white is not that amazing but anyway essentially the use of black and white on Jean and then on Alex is just to you know flashback essentially and it's going to be used in a sort of reminiscent way of looking back at this last moment of when Alex could remember that Supergirl and Kara are the same person yeah so this episode is going to be dealing with the consequences and Kara says to I believe it's James and Kara says what if the mind wipe has consequences and this is what the entire trailer is sort of getting at because Alex says I'm totally blanking and this is just a little crucial element of the trailer that is going to be big in the episode because Kara is going to be questioning is this the right thing you know what's the difference in Alex's life that she doesn't know that her sister is in fact Supergirl she knows her sister's Kara but she doesn't know Supergirl has a link so yeah we'll talk about that just in a second a bit more depth but yeah so this is a nice shot and it, you know we're all looking forward to it but also we're kind of dreading it at the same time due to what happened at the end of last episode and so she's in Catco with James as you can see in the background it's Catco and he's at his desk and like I said when Alex says I'm totally blanking it's this scene and she's most likely outside and it's just like just the look on her face is just confusion and innocence I would say and we cut to the next shot and this is of Kara outside this house and it could be to do with Alex but I have a feeling this is in the town in Nia's hometown that they're going to in the episode because that's going to be a big part and I think there's some sort of cult because they are all in white and you know like everyone in the town's in white but I think that's a theory for now but that hasn't been confirmed but this shot does seem like it's you know quite suburban rather than in National City per se and so it's just a quite a nice shot of Supergirl as she's just standing there you know with a face of kind of fear but also shock at the same time this is the next shot and it's of Alex she's closing her eyes and she's with Kara so more Danvers sisters moments but without that same sort of effect it's going to be different and so this idea of her closing her eyes I think it's confusion and the fact that she's going to be blanking a lot of her memories essentially in the past like you know four or five years or so Supergirl is a massive part of her life that is part of her day-to-day -day life and not knowing that Kara is Supergirl is going to block out so many memories and as Sean says just after this Alex and Supergirl and Kara are the primary relationship of their relationship is you know them knowing that they're Supergirl and that they work at the DEO etc and we get this really amazing shot that just flips it around, flips the camera, and we see 
Kara looking at Alex and Kara's just, you know, like staring at her like, how can you not remember this? Like, whatever she's talking about, she doesn't remember and this surprises Kara and it's going to be still very heartbreaking even though it's obviously past that point. Like, will we actually see Alex get her memories back? I do believe we will. Once Haley's out of the picture, I believe she'll be gone probably in the next few episodes. So hopefully Alex is back to normal by then. But yeah, like I said, moving on to Jean. So Jean is called in by Kara, presumably, because he's in Kara's apartment. And we saw that shot of Alex in Kara's apartment. And this looks like it's a bit later. So Jean says, you were Alex's primary relationship during her. And then I can't make out the word. So just something years. That's what we have erased. So essentially what Jean is getting at is what they've erased is the idea that Kara is Supergirl and so like I mentioned before it's such a massive part of her life that's what they've erased they've erased all those different moments all those different sort of elements from the past to do with Supergirl if Alex is without them you know she's going to blank on literally most of her memories in the past few years and it's a crucial factor to how this season's going to play out because if Alex doesn't know that, like, what's their relationship going to be like as the Danvers sisters? Because, you know, there's questions about that right now. And so we see a black and white shot of the Danvers sisters couch and them on the couch. And I believe this was from a few episodes ago. Um, maybe it was last episode or the mid-season finale or something along those lines. But we see them together when they were happy, you know, just sisters and essentially this sort of just reflects what we're going to be getting we're going to be getting these moments but also we're going to be getting them in a different way it's not going to be as pure and as full as before because obviously they don't have that full connection that they've had in the past few years which has really amplified them as sisters so yeah that is going to be massive but moving on to the next shot this is again Jean still in the apartment and Kara is just, you know, intensely staring because she is just perplexed by what's happening, presumably from all these emotions. And we see a shot of Alex at the end of last episode before it cut. And so maybe this is how it starts off next episode, but it's in color, it's not in black and white. And, you know, Jean is holding her by her head. Or this is maybe perhaps later, it could be in the DEO because maybe she notices something is wrong with her head, like that she's been losing these memories. Maybe Jean will actually restore it in the episode. I think that would be a bit too quick maybe, but nevertheless, Jean is doing something because he's holding his hand on her face, and that's normally how he uses his power, so we'll have to wait and see. But the final line is, something in my mind is missing, and this is what Alex says. In the DEO, you can see Brainy just behind it. and Kara will be in front of her and maybe Jean and, and maybe a few other people but anyway so this is crucial because something in her mind she confirms is missing this is to do with like I've been mentioning like two times already it's all about the relationship with Supergirl and Alex and literally so many memories going to be erased it's like changing the timeline it will fuck everything up essentially in regards to their relationship and what Alex can remember over you know the past I guess it would r remove some of the childhood memories of her you know having superpowers you would just remember the normal things the human things that Kara did with Alex so yeah those nice moments but she's going to be taking out some of those crucial you know talking points and different things that they've had along the ways but the final shot of the trailer is amazing and this is in the DEO again by the stairs and Kara is just like plain face like pure just dead drop you know sad upset face right there and I'm really really looking forward to this episode just seeing these different reactions and how everything is going to play out with Alex and how it ended. I'm not ready, but I'm ready at the same time. So let me know in the comments down below how excited you are for this episode. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.